let's start. Let's start with our gentle warm up. Remember, really important to zero in on those feet, right? So we're going to open up those 10 toes, press them into the floor, press the heels down, get a nice firm base on that ground, right? And I want you to feel very grounded today. Shoulders are back and down. We're going to roll them back, open up the chest. Good. Now I want you to take a big inhale. Maybe two, three inhales, exhale down. Good. Now this breath will bring warmth into our body. We're going to inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Let's reset those feet again, okay? All 10 toes spread out, pressed into the ground, heels down. Now we're going to bring that dynamic tension into our abdominals all the way up to the roof of our mouth. Shoulders back and down. Remember, proud chest. We take those hands out, remembering the connection to the floor there, the ground, opening up the fingers, bringing that tension into our hands, which creates that dynamic tension from abdomens, from actually from feet all the way up to the roof of our mouth. We put our tongue in the roof of our mouth and we're going to hold there for 10 easy breaths. Just breathe, feel that nice tension. And now just relax it, shake it out a little bit. Let's shake those legs, shake the hands. And we're going to do this again, all 10 toes in, heels down down, shoulders back and down, reaching, 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 feeling that dynamic tension through the body. Good. Shake it out. Let's just do a little step, right? Just take those steps easily, gently back and forth, right? We call this flight of the bird in yoga. As we bring those hands out, expand the chest. Everybody have a nice Valentine's Day yesterday. Inhale, Very. exhale, good. And open and close, just gentle, move back and forth. Good, meeting back in center. I want to see if you can get back into that position again, right? Remember I told you how important this is? All 10 toes down, heels down, shoulders back and down, chest proud, reaching out, dynamic tension in those arms. And tongue on the roof of your mouth. And five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Let's bring some attention to those shoulders. Here we go. Roll them out for one, two, three, four, and five. And then back the other way for one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to give a big inhale again. We're going to reach up now, nice and tall, elongating the spine, right? Bringing space to each and every vertebra. And we're going to just twirl, just do about two to three circles one way, two to three the other way, gently bringing those arms back down. And we're going to bring them into a big figure eight, just a little loosening up all of those joints, bringing that warmth and that synovial fluid to all of those joints. Nice and easy. <clears throat> Good. Now we're going to take a step back. We're going to pretend we're in the pool and we're just going to do some crawls, right? Some very easy, but just think about having some of that water as resistance. You can actually feel it. If you think it, you can feel it, right? Just bring those arms in. Now we're going to take those hands together and push the water away for some breath strokes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ah, shake them out. Keep those, give those shoulders a little room, right? Little pendulum swing, circle, clockwise, counterclockwise. Let's bring some attention to those hands open and shut. Give me one, two, three, four, five. Let's do our each finger to the thumb pointer middle finger, ring finger, and pinkies. Go back to the beginning and do that again, maybe two, three times, right? And let's do our A-OK -okay and our thumbs up. A-OK, -okay, thumbs up, A-OK, -okay, 
thumbs up, open and close, bring some attention to the wrist. Let's do a few circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now those hips, maybe just bring them just gently side to side, some figure eights. So this is a warm up before our little bit of cardio blast and then some strength. Good. Now, if you want to hold on, let's just swing one leg nice and easy. Remember, you're just warming up, so it's not a real big kick. It's nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now come across. Give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight other side go one two three four five six seven and eight come across one two three four five six seven and eight let's kick them back a little bit one two three four five six, seven, and eight. Now let's roll out those hips. One, two, and three. Other side. One, two, and three. Now we're going to start inside to out, or outside to in. So you start here. One, two, and three. Let's go over to the other side. One, two, and three. Now we're going to open those hips. I'm going to stand behind my chair. I'm going to reach back. I'm going to give a little back bend. We're opening up the whole front of the hip and we're going to try to reach towards our heel. And we'll go over to the other side, reach towards that heel. And now let's come back here and just give the back a little attention. So we're just going to bicycle our knees in and out. And we're going to go right into a downward facing dog and just draw, let your head just drop. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. And we're going to walk in just a little bit where we have a flat spine, right? Just a flat back. And we're going to inhale now, drop it, little cat cow. Exhale, scoop and roll. Really a great warm up for the abs and the, a stretch for the back. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop and roll. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop and roll. Inhale, drop. Exhale, hold this little scoop and just round the hips. As you scoop, just round. We're gonna go about two more times to the right and then two more times to the left as we scoop those abs in and round the back. And we're gently gonna come up to starting position. And if you have your Pilates ball, let's bring it to the party. All right, this, I use this for many different reasons. Um, Today, we're going to work a little bit on movement and balance. So just doing this, crossing that midline here is really important. And you're moving. I'm going to get your heart rate up just nice and easy. And if you don't have the ball, that's fine. Just kind of do what we're doing without the ball, okay? Um, even maybe if you want to put something else in your hand, even like um, whatever you have, a pillow, okay? Although the pillow is not going to bounce because we are going to bounce the ball too. <laughs> now take this ball, squeeze it. As you squeeze it, you're going to feel some nice engagement of those abs and that, that core, right? And we're going to push forward. One, just dig your heels in. Give me about 10 of these. One and over, two and over, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Here's the hard part. Morning. Got that? Here we go. Underneath and over like little figure eights, okay? And through, and through. Maybe just a couple more of these and we're just gonna march it out. Bring it side to side. Now, let's take two steps to the left as we push out. One two, give it a clap. One, two, and go. One, two, one, two, one, 
two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One more on each side, and you're going to meet me in the middle, and we're going to kick those heels out again. Here we go. Maybe a little bit more intense right now, bringing that heart rate up. Good, here we go, eight and over, seven and over, six and over, five, four, three, two, and one. March, 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 go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now little kicks, give me eight and over seven and over, six and over, five, four, three, two, one, march. And we're gonna move again. Now dig your heels in and march over to the side, heels over and back for one, two, three, four, march, one, two, three, four, other side, one, two, three, four, over one, two, okay. three, four, march, march. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take a nice wide stance and we're gonna just gonna do little squats for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now on eight, hold here, bounce that ball and catch for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now grab the ball, come down, lift it up, two and up, three and up, four and up, five, reach, six, reach, seven, reach, eight and reach. Bring it behind your back, open up the chest for two, three, and four. Let's go to the other side. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. Now, we're going to work what we call the obliques right here, the side. We're going to take the ball and our shoulders. As we take the ball up here and give it a little squeeze, we're going to bring it down. We're going to pivot that foot just a little bit for one, bring it back up, and two, bring it back up and three, bring it up and four, bring it up. We're gonna go back to the middle. We're gonna come down and lift it up and two and up and three and up and four and up. Deep breath, getting ready for the other side. Bring it up. Remember that back foot, that opposite side pivots. Right, we lift the heel and we come across for one, two, three, and four. Let's dig those heels in again. Here we go. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Little kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, march, tap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let's push and kick back, one, kick back, two, kick back, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now hold that ball nice and tight. We're just going to bring attention to those abs again. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Soften everything up. Squeeze the ball. Exhale, feel the nice strength in those abdominals. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, push. Squeeze those abs. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, back. Exhale, squeeze. Now we're going to bring attention to those feet again. So we're going to just give a little hip hinge down and we're going to lift up on our toes. Hip hinge down, lift up on our toes. Hip hinge down, lift up on our toes for three. We've got four. 
We've got five. We've got six. We've got seven. And we've got eight. Good, let's march and move. Here we go. Move it to the left for one, two, three, four. Move it right, two, three, four. Move it left, two, three, four. Move it right, two, three, four. Move it left, two, three, four. Meet me in the middle and march. Two. Let's move this march. Let's move it forward. One, two, three, four. Move it back. Two, three, four in place. One, two, three, four. Now push it, kick it back. One, two, three, four. Forward. One, two, three, four. Back. One, two, three, four in place. One, two, three, four. Now kick it forward. Two, three, four. Let's move it forward. One, two, three, four. Move it back. Two, three, four in place. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Why? Just give me the bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now bounce it and lift it. Bounce, catch, lift. 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 Bounce, catch, and lift. Now just give me a little side to side. And now let's grab our chair and let's just take that ball and walk around. Watch, we're going backwards. And meet me in the chair. Okay. Deep breath. Yeah. Okay. So some of this stuff we're going to do right here. So right now, I just want you to take the ball up with one hand. Up, 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 and just bring it across. So basically, you're, you're, it's almost like putting on a seatbelt from here and across, right? From here and across good let's go over to the other side lift come across for one all the way up for two up for three up for four and one more excellent we're going to work the upper back a little bit we're going to take that ball and put it between our forearms here hands together so you really want to squeeze it and you want to make sure that your elbows are in line with your shoulders we're going to work the shoulders and upper back as we squeeze and lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. I want to just put the ball right here a minute. I want you to open up your chest. All right. Just make sure you've got some mobility here because then we're going to take the ball and we're going to bring it around behind the chair and forward, right? Opening up the chest. Reaching behind, two, three, and four. Now back the other way. Okay, so we started here. Let's go the other way. One, I had to think about that. Two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to give a little squeeze. Now this is, I love this one. What I want you to do, I'm going to turn sideways. This is so good for you. Remember, we never want to lose the ability to get up and out of the chair. And now I've kind of given you a little bit extra to do here. So we're going to squeeze, again, engaging those abs. You can put your hands right here. I want you to come just barely up out of the chair. And I want you to sit it back. I want you to continue squeezing the ball, right? Giving you a little tactile input to get those abs nice and firm, right? And shoulders are back and down. Chest is always proud. Even when we come up out of the chair, our ears are always in line with our shoulders. And we support our spine by just putting our hands on our legs right here, coming up, holding right here, really feeling the nice dynamic tension in those abdominals, flat back, working the back as well, and then coming back gently. Give yourself a nice, a lot of work here. Give yourself a nice deep breath in. 
exhale, squeeze, come up, out, and hold. Gently come down into the chair. How's everybody doing with that, okay? Is it difficult or you're finding it? No, good, okay, come on up, hold, and then back down. Let's do up. one more and I'm gonna change it up. <laughs> you're gonna come up, you're doing so well with this, I've gotta make it a little more challenging. So you're gonna take the ball here, you're gonna come out, hover up and lift. Come back down, gently come back down into the chair. Remember, always hips back, right? Protecting the knees. Come up, lift it up, bring it down. Come on up, bring it in and down. Come on up, bring it in. Now I want you to hold right here. Hold, 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 and down, okay. Facing me again, all right, we're going to squeeze. We're going to work the front of our legs, our quadriceps, right? Remember our posture always, shoulders back and down, proud chest, ears over shoulders, abs are engaged, okay? They don't have to be really, really tight, but they're just engaged, we know they're working. And we're just gonna take one leg at a time as we squeeze the ball, working the fronts of our legs. So we're gonna do 10 of these, that was one and over and two, and over, and three, and over, and four, and over, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Let's go back and work on our upper body again. So we're going to take that ball up overhead. We're going to squeeze it. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just bringing the ball back here and up. So we're working the backs of our arms, okay? So give me 10 of these. One, elbows towards me. Two, so you want it almost like you're squeezing your ears. Three, bring them in. Four, that's it. Good. Mimi, get them in there. Point those elbows at me. Five, six, seven. Let's just do eight. But now we're going to take it out to the side. Now, with or without the ball, you can do this without anything in your hand. Just make sure you we're working this muscle right here. So we're just going to squeeze and back. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight. Now bring it behind you, go to the other hand, bring it out. Remember, shoulders are rolled back, chest is proud, ears over shoulders. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Can we go underneath? Let's do our figure eights right here. Good. Now let's just reach opposite straight leg, right? Switch that hand, bring it over and give me one and over and two and over and three and over and four and over and five and over and six and over and seven and over and eight and over. Let's come up out of the chair. Now, sometimes you might have a hard time with this. If the ball doesn't cooperate, you can do it with or without the ball. What I like, I like to give a little squeeze, put it behind my knee and keep that tension right here. And we're working our glutes, which are a really important part of our core. So you're holding onto your chair. Don't, you know, loose grip, not real tight, right? A very neutral spine. And we just kick back. Right. So that means we're not tightening up the we're not tightening up those abs deliberately or just keeping everything in a nice neutral spot there. Right. Just kicking back. Give me about 10 of those. 
So when you're done with those 10, if you can maintain the squeeze on the ball, bring your knees, I'm just, you don't have to face me. I just wanna show you how my knees are in line. And I come out to the side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna take the ball out. I'm gonna put it on the other side, get that good squeeze. I'll give you a couple of minutes or a minute to get there. Sometimes it, like I said, just doesn't cooperate. You okay? We're ready to go. When you're ready to go, give me 10. Now I'm gonna, not gonna count. So you just let me know when you're at your 10. And if the ball falls, let it go. Just kick it back without the ball. We're gonna ditch the ball in a minute anyway. And then come here, we're gonna do a lot of stretching. I'm gonna give you some spinal stabilizers to do. And we're gonna do a little bit, and we'll concentrate a little bit more on balance and foot health. Still got a lot to do. Okay, let's ditch the ball. Let's get behind your chair. Give your back and legs a little attention right now. So as we drop into, this is just basically a downward dog with the chair as our prop. We're gonna drop our head, just let it relax and just bicycle those knees in and out gently. You're gonna take one foot forward and you're gonna bring one foot back and you're gonna to try to push the heel down on the floor. The heel behind you is getting a nice stretch in the lower part of the leg. Just give me a couple of nice deep breaths right here. Good. Now you're going to come up on that back toe as you push forward, making sure that front knee is still at a 90 degree angle, not over those laces. And we're going to take the leg that is back. We're going to take that arm and bring it up and over for a nice side of the body stretch. And then we're going to open up right here. And we're going to reach all the way back. If you can let go, reach for the big beach ball behind you, opening up our chest. And we're gonna go back to our chair again. And we're gonna go back into our downward facing dog, drop your head, let that back just open up a little bit, bicycling the knees in and out. You're gonna step forward with your opposite foot. The back foot is down, keeping that heel down. Then up on your toe, pressing forward, reaching over. Coming back to our chair, stepping back, we're gonna do a couple of standing cat cows. Inhale, drop, that's right. Just lifting the hips, kind of dropping the belly. Exhale, bringing our belly and spine to make a nice little curve there, really stretches the spine and works the abdominals. Inhale, drop, exhale, scoop and roll. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop and roll. Now, coming back to our chair, what I want you to do, this is spinal balance, okay? So I know you're opposite me, but I'm just gonna go with the side that I'm doing so I can cue you correctly. So I'm taking my right foot back and I'm flexing that right foot. My hip, my right hip is square to the ground. So that means I'm not opening towards you, it's square. My right hand is on the chair. I'm gonna take my left hand out, but I'm gonna put it in a fist. I'm gonna flex my back foot. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to try to draw my elbow towards my knee, my knee towards my elbow. Here is that dynamic tension in that spine, abs and glutes, you feel it? And bring it down and just, this is great for spine health, abdominals, strengthening that core. Okay, and great for balance. So we're gonna go over to the other side, taking the left foot out, flexing the left, left foot, heel, right hip is dropped down, not dropped down, but even to the floor. So both hip bones should be in line with the floor. The opposite hand, so my left leg is out and flexed, my right hand is out in front of me, around my ears, my bicep. I put my right hand in a fist and I draw my, it's actually my shoulder and elbow towards my body. And that knee is going towards the chair, right? Pulling together, creating great dynamic tension. 
and hold that for five, four, three, two, and one, and just release. Now, the next one we're going to do is a little more flowy than what we just did. So what I want you to do is just, again, right leg, left hand, and just flow through this. Reach, come back to your chair, opposite side, reach, come back to your chair, reach, and back, and reach, and back, and reach and back, coming back to our down dog, bicycling our knees in and out, pushing those hips side to side, walking towards our chair. We're gonna have a seat because we're gonna stretch a little bit in the chair, and then we're gonna do a little bit of ankle and foot health, okay? All right, so we're gonna sit in the chair. We're gonna stretch from upper body to lower body. So I want you to take your hands, open them up, Put them behind your head, press your head into your hands, getting a nice chest stretch, but also giving some attention to that cervical spine. So we're going to push our head into our open fingers and breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to release that. We're going to roll the shoulders back. We're going to bring them forward. We're going to hinge forward, do a little pendulum swinging clockwise, counterclockwise, rolling up, rolling those shoulders, giving yourself a hug, opening up your back, right? So you're opening up that back. We do a lot of, we did a lot of back work with the ball. Good, gently, let's go back to elongating that spine, inhaling, coming on up. Now we're gonna take those hands together and just press in over to one side. Come back to center. We're going to elongate the spine in the center, inhaling, exhaling, reaching over to the other side, gently bringing those arms down and giving a little gentle twist Hello? to the spine. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to take those hands to one side, one side, and we're going to lift through our spine and look over that back shoulder. We're gonna to go to the other side. We're gonna inhale, lift, exhale, look over that back shoulder. Good, now we're gonna do some seated cat cows. As we inhale, come forward to a flat back, exhale, scoop and roll. Inhale forward, exhale, scoop and roll. Inhale forward, X and scoop and roll. Now bring one knee up, stretching the back a little bit, holding underneath, flat back, chest towards your knee, giving a nice little hug. Feeling some stretch in the back. Over to the other side, reaching underneath. That press. It's Minnie. Please leave a brief message. Thanks for calling. Come on over to the other side. We're now going to lift and go into a figure four. That means your ankle is just above the kneecap, about two inches, opening up your hip, hinging forward with a flat back. You're going to feel a nice stretch in that glute and that hip area. That's tough. Yes. <laughs> this feels good though, doesn't it? Come no. on up. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I love this stretch right here. Give a little press, a little push. It means we have a little tightness in the hips there. So I'm gonna give you another stretch for that in one minute. Come back down. Let's do that one more time on each side, nice and gentle, maybe getting a little bit more range of motion each time. up and over to the other side. Got now we're gonna bring both feet. I'm gonna kind of split my body in half with the chair. So my outside leg will come back. Same stretch we did standing, right? I'm just gonna do this again, but right now I want you to give me a little back bend and chest opener. So my shoulders are back and down, my chest is opened. Take a big inhale. We call these heart openers, right? And actually does help the heart and lungs. You're really bringing oxygen and blood flow to your heart, to your lungs and let it go. And we're also opening up the hip. So now I'm gonna come back to that neutral spine. So when I mean neutral, that just means I'm not arching and I'm not flexing, I'm right in the middle here. Opening up this hip, reaching that right arm. My right leg is back, so my right arm is coming over. And then I gently move back 
to the center. We're going to open the chest and heart again. We're going to bring those hands behind us, roll the shoulders back, take a nice deep breath in. And exhale out. Coming over to the other side, bringing the opposite foot back, opening up the hip, a little back bend, supporting the back with my thumbs, my hands right here. My head doesn't drop back, but my heart stays open. Giving that nice big breath in, nose, chest to abdomen, and back out. Good. Now this time, we're going to just come forward here, and we're going to take that back toe come towards your device and reach up and over. Good, let's go to the other side and do the same thing, right? Reaching back, reaching up and over, stretching that whole side of your body. Good, coming back to center, we're gonna bring that attention to our ankles. Now, if you want, I kind of hold my leg a little bit because your hip can get fatigued. We did a lot of hip stuff today. So just point and flex your foot for about eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then just bring the ankle. See how I'm like bringing the foot out to the side, right? Here to here. Give me about four of those. Two, three, and four. Now circle one, two, three, and four. Circle the other way. One, two, three, and four. Now just give me a little wag. One two, three, and four. Good. Other side, point flex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring that ankle one way, then the other way. One, the foot is going one way. The ankle actually is staying there. We're working the ankle with the foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me circles. One, two, three, four, circle the other way. One, two, three, and four. Now wag, one, two, three, and four. Now, you don't have to do anything here, but if you have a ball, the little ball, and you want to get it, fine. I have these little, this is what I was talking about. This aids with neuropathy. Um, it actually helps balance. I have this little ball that breaks in half. Okay, now if you can see, I'm going to have to move closer so you can see the parts of my foot. You can do this on your own. I'm going to give you the five points of the foot that I want you working on. And all you do is press. You don't do anything else. So if I come over here, let me going to bring my camera down a minute, okay? This is really important. So what I want to do, I could do this barefoot. I have my sock on right now. So if you can see, this goes underneath the ball of your foot, right between your toes and the ball of your foot. And I put it down on the floor and I press into it. I'm not gonna do the full 30 seconds, but you're gonna stay there for 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds on the ball of your foot. Then you go to your heel, right? So we do one, two, three, four, and then the middle, right? So you've got your heel. So you press there. You could kill yourself. 30 seconds. No, it's really, this is really good for, um, it, it actually, there's a connection between the nerves of your feet and your brain. Okay, so this aids in balance, aids in neuropathy, preventing it and helping it. Okay, so then we've got underneath your toes, the ball of your foot, your heel. Then what you do is you take just, I'm going to take my sock off so you can see what I'm talking about. So this ball is like split in half and you put it underneath your arch on the inside. So you step there for 30 seconds, right? And then you go over to the other side, same thing. It's halfway underneath, here's your ankle bone, just in front of your ankle bone, midway, splitting that ball in half, 30 seconds here. So we've got the ball of your foot, the heel, each Push side. Ball in half. Well, the ball comes in two. You can use a regular tennis ball. You can use, and then you have the last part is just the instep of your foot, right? The arch and you just press there. So each spot gets 30 seconds. The reason why we have the two, first of all, they have a little bit of a texture and you can do two at the same time, okay? You could do two tennis balls as well. I have also, you can use a tennis ball. You can use, these are called balls. I get them, I got them from Amazon. They're acupuncture 
acu spots because I use this all over the body, not just on your feet, but you can absolutely use one of these too. So remember, it's the ball of the foot, the heel, the inside of that arch, the outside, and then the, the middle part, okay? So 30 seconds, you just hold that press. Doesn't have to be really hard, just a little bit, okay? And then there's one other one. I love this one. You take the ball and you roll it about five times just across your toes. And then you press, you give me five presses on the ball of your foot, two, three, four, five. You press your heel down for five, two, three, four, five. And then you take the middle part, press down for one, two, three, four, five. Then you roll it vigorously right along. That's your, your um, plantar fascia right there. You've heard of plantar fascia fasciitis, I'm sure some of us have already had it. This will help with it. It will prevent it. And it also stretches out the fascia in the back of your body. So I'm always very tight on the right side. I did my right side. So when I come down, I actually can feel a little lengthening of that, the back of my body. So you have this recorded. I know there was a lot of information in that little bit of time. Um, but if you get a chance, go back to it. And if you use these, you're going to find they really do help. Okay. So that concludes this Wednesday. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good week. Okay. Any, any questions? Everybody good? Fine. You're good. Okay. You. Take care. Bye now.